Hey guys, what's what's up? <laughs> um, it's me, Alex, and I'm back with another video. I don't know, I'm so generic. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, today, uh, I'm gonna be reviewing the 200 set of Ohu markers. I know, I know it's a lot of markers. Um, I decided to get the 200 set instead of like the brush marker set just because I don't know. I just I just I wanted it more. And there's nothing wrong with the brush markers, I like them. I have a set of them, I think I have 48 set? I don't know, I think so. Um, but, I don't know, I like them, I use them, but I just, I wanted to get the 200 set. I also really like the non-brush nib ones, the ones that I got. Whatever, <laughs> I'm rambling too much about something like this. Um, so I sketched, um, I forget what is this guy's name, but he's from Demon Slayer. The, the one that always says something about being flamboyant um <laughs> yeah it's him um this is my sketchbook I, I did make this sketchbook it's on some art it's made with some arteza tone grade paper um so that's why the colors look obviously quite different um so let's just let's just get into my thoughts on the markers um the markers themselves are actually pretty nice like i, I had a set of the non-brush tip ones before i think it was the 40 set and i really liked them um those were actually those my second marker set my first one was prisma colors that was those are my second ones and i really liked them um and so that they haven't really changed much since i last much since i last got them god i can't speak um so yeah they're, they're fine the color range is pretty nice like a lot of other people have said and like a lot of other cheap marker sets there aren't a lot, whole lot of pastel colors. They have some nice mid, a lot of nice mid tones and some really nice, a couple of really nice dark colors, but they are kind of lacking in the pastel department. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing. Um, the ink quality is pretty nice. You know, they're nice and juicy, not too dry. Um, the, the chisel nibs are a lot more juicy than the bullet nibs, so I would use those for blending and filling in the majority of the areas, unless it's really small. Um, yeah. Uh, trying to think what else to talk about. Um, they don't, depending on what liners and paper you use, they may or may not smudge. I haven't tested them with watercolors yet. I'm, no, the, the mm. <laughs> I was thinking of the liners, not the, um, not the markers. The markers don't smudge the liners, from my experience, the ones I have used. <laughs> I'm just make, make sure to, um, let them dry. Um, yeah. I really don't know, I should have wrote, written down a script. I don't have a script for this video. I don't make scripts for any of my videos. I really should. Because, as you can see, we're already on a lovely tangent. Oh, okay. So the the colors come the set comes with like um some swatch sheets so swatch sheets so you can you know swatch the markers and you know keep it in little case that it comes in it comes in a nice a nice big case a really big case with a lot of markers obviously um but when you swatch them they start going in order and then they're not in order and you know it goes with like dark reds pinks reds oranges dark oranges a couple light peachy skin tones dark yellows yellows greens yellows green yellow greens um green blues there's like one green then blues um blue purples purples more pinks dark browns light browns there's a black right in the middle of the browns and then peachy slash orangey skin tones back to browns a really an, an odd gray um and then back to like desaturated pinks not back to but they they go to desaturated the pinks and purples and greens and blues and browns and then the grays and then the fluorescence which you know not too bad but the order is really weird and the numbering system it 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 kind of not really makes sense like they have numbers which is nice but the numbers don't signify too much like there's purples that are like 171 172 and then there are purples that are like um 75 or 84 so it's like why 
are they separated? Like, it doesn't make much sense. The grays are, are labeled pretty nicely. Like, warm gray, cool gray, blue gray, green gray, neutral gray, and then a yellow gray, a YG, I don't know. Um, so yeah, um, they have a pretty nice range of grays. Um, if you, I know a lot of people don't love using grays, but I really like using them. I think they're fun to use. And it, it, it helps when, like, I, I like doing a lot of monotone art. So the grays help, um, they you know, just help, the, I keep saying help. They help differentiate, like, the tones and using one marker and blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah. Would I recommend these? Yes and no. I got them off of Amazon for, I think, roughly $130 Canadian, because I am Canadian. A. Um, if you're looking for um, markers and you want to get a bunch of colors, but, like, you don't want to, like, get, like the, 300, like, the $500 Copic markers and, like, a 72 set, I think, then yes, you can go ahead and get these, um, maybe if you're just wanting more colors, but you don't, again, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, then yeah, get these, but if you're looking for pastel colors, or looking for brush nibs, again, these don't have brush nibs, or maybe you're just, like, looking for better quality, more, I don't know, you're looking... <laughs> For nice, some like half decent mid range markers, then mm, well, <laughs> depending on your your eh. if you're looking for more markers, then get these um because they are pretty cheap. They're like a hundred and thirty for two hundred again Canadian. Um, if you're looking for pastel colors, don't get these. I I did see that Ohuhu has come out with like a pastel color set, but those are on brush tips, and I didn't get they're not included in this set, obviously. So, yeah, but if you're looking for a bunch of pastels, I would not recommend this set. Um, yeah. And, um, I'll definitely be using these, like, when I write in my hair art, I probably will, because, you know, colors. And also, I, I just really like them. Like, I don't use my Prismacolor a whole lot. Not that I hate them, it's just that, eh, they're they're okay. But these I'll definitely use. I have to find a space for these, but if you'll probably see them every now and again in my videos whenever I'm using them. Um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, you can see it's not done, but I am done with the voiceover, finally. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good 2021. 20, yeah, 2021, because it is... The last day, last couple hours of 2020 is when I'm filming this. Um, I hope you had a good 2020. What a year it was, man. What a year it was. I, I think I say in one of the videos, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. It was my kind of year. Um, there are some things I didn't like about it, obviously. But overall, I, I, I quite enjoyed it. But I know a lot of people didn't, so I feel I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy it, and I wish you all the best in 2021. Um, my plans for future videos, I might as well share this, because, like, why, why not? Um, I, I do plan to, to keep uploading. Um, school does start pretty soon, and so I'll probably have to, like, upload a little bit less once it does start, but I'll try to keep it going. I know... I keep saying that, and it never really happens, but I'm gonna really make an effort, um, but I am, I, eh, but I do have to, you know, keep up good grades, because my parents are kind of strict about that, anyway, you guys don't, it doesn't matter, um, but I will be doing quite, uh, hopefully more art videos, because I like doing art, and that's where I want to take my channel, um, yeah. I'll probably upload quite a few speed paints just because that's what I can do. I might upload, I might do voiceovers for them. I might not, depending on the mood I'm in. I, I may or may not. But just, you know, let me know what you want to see in, in the comments down below. Um, you can ask me questions about myself. I don't really care. Just, I want to interact with you guys some more because it's, it's really fun. 
um, and I really appreciate all the su all the support and all the subscribers and everything and all you know e all the views and whatnot that you guys obviously give and then people comment and it makes me really happy because it's like oh you're watching I hope you enjoy <laughs> and I'm I'm not kind of sorry um yeah just even if you like have nothing to say just comment hi and I'll say hi back and then that that'll you know. That just makes my day. <laughs> I don't know it sounds really weird. This is a weird voiceover. But, yeah. Um, and thank you for all the support you guys have given me. It's been amazing. We reached 800 subscribers. I think we just passed it recently. And that's just it's really crazy. Because I started this back in... I'm going to say September. I uploaded a couple videos in like July, June. But I didn't really do much with them and then I started uploading more and more in September when like school was starting and whatnot I don't know why but I did um and it's just grown so much since then like it, it's been crazy the growth that this channel has had and I can't wait to see where we can where you guys can take it I'm saying you guys because I'm, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know um I guess we that sounds really weird but I'm in a room by myself. But yeah. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope you enjoyed drawing. And I hope you enjoyed 2020 to the best of your ability. And I hope you enjoy 2021 to the best of your ability. Um, again, I, I keep saying this. But hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I don't think you'll share this. But yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you have a good next year, next day, next couple hours, next minute, next l no, next week. Stay safe and don't die. Bye.